In this video, I will show you guys how I made a LED face mask using NeoPixel LED and Arduino. So let's get started. Let's start by gathering the required parts. We will need a mask, a NeoPixel WS2812B addressable LED strip. You can find them easily on Amazon or use the link given below in the description. Next, we will need a microcontroller. You can use any Arduino or similar microcontroller board. But for today's tutorial, we will use Arduino Pro Mini. Next, we need a power source to power these LEDs for which I will use two lithium ion 18650 cells and use a two cell holder for it. We will also need two switches, one on off switch to turn the LED on or off and another one is a push button to switch the pattern. Link to all the required parts and tools can be found in description. We will start this process by first measuring the length of LED required to cover the entire mask and cut few strips of them. I have used 5 strips in total. After that, I have arranged the strips on a table to solder them in series manner, starting from top left towards the bottom right. There are 3 connection terminals in NeoPixel, Ground, Data and VCC. We need to connect all of them in series. Remember, these LEDs are directional, the data flow has to be in continuous manner so, the arrow should be in continuous manner. So, we will use some wire and solder all of the 5 strips together. Well, if you guys are new to our channel, Consider subscribing and press the bell notification to never miss any video. After that is done, our LEDs are ready to be attached to our mask. So, we will use needle and thread to sew LEDs on our mask. Now we have 3 wires at the end of our strip which corresponds to VCC, data and ground. We will connect the VCC to Arduino's raw pin, ground to ground of Arduino, data pin to D6 of Arduino. We will add the on off switch between the positive of our battery and raw of Arduino. And we will connect the negative of battery to ground. At last, we will solder one push button to D2 and the other end of the push button should be connected to the ground, which we will use for mode switching. And that's all for connection. For the code, I am using Adafruit's NeoPixel library and button cycle example. So the only thing that you need to change in the code is the number of LEDs in the circuit. So simply count the number of individual LEDs. For my case, it is 141 LEDs. Now, let's upload the code and test everything. Voila! It looks great and works like expected. Don't worry if you're confused about connections and code. I have uploaded all the relevant information in a blog page, link to which can be found in description. 
Everything looks great at this point, but to make practical use of this project, we need a case for which I used my CAD skills from my engineering days and designed a case using Fusion 360 software. By measuring all the required dimensions, And at last, I used the Prusa slicer to slice the 3D model and then used my 3D printer to print this case. At last, I will mount all the switches at the appropriate places. Route the wires, solder the wires that are required. And voila, look at the end result. This looks like a proper product. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do give this video a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Also, you can support us by sharing our content to as many people as possible it would really help us and boost our morale. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Eyes glow like two fires, movement so graceful. Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws. Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey. Like stars in the darkest night, crystallized, fascinating. If you wanna stay alive, if you don't wanna No chance if you become prey Two stars in the darkest night A crystallized fascinate Her movements, she feels Your heart beating, animal fear Her beauty is unreal Just be free, out of here If you wanna stay alive If you don't wanna be her prey Don't sit in her way Run, run, run away.